19th century, Dr. Charles Ayers and Dr. Luther Berry, earlier presidents of Natchez Seminary, now Jackson State University, stood as beacons of unity in a Mississippi marred by racial inequalities, which led to the school relocating to Jackson in 1883. Natchez Seminary moved to our current location and became Jackson College, erecting the first building, Air Hall, named after Dr. Charles Ayers. This building cradled Mississippi history as serving as classrooms, dorm rooms, a manual training shop, dean's quarters, and even a haven for preschool children. In 1997, Air Hall underwent restoration, preserving its rich legacy. Today, it symbolizes enduring education and the wave unwavering spirit of those who shaped its history. On May 13, 1970, a student gathering turned into a chaotic night of protest. The boiling point on May 15 led to a tragic event. Armed officers marched towards Alexander Hall, triggering gunfire, killing Philip Lafayette Gibbs and James Earl Grant. In 1961, the Cancer of Frederick Organization, COFO, was formed to unite civil rights groups. By 1963, it had established its headquarters at 1017 John R. Lynch Street, becoming the central hub for the Mississippi movement. In 2008, Jackson State University saved the historic COFO office from being destroyed and restored it, turning it into an educational facility serving both the university and the community. The COFO building now stands as a symbol of renewal, freedom, justice, and human dignity, echoing its lasting impacts on Mississippi's civil rights narrative.